Hello everybody, welcome back to the Swedish Achievement Run Part 9. This is the King of the North series. Welcome back. And the last episode, in episode 8, um, Hungary has very foolishly decided to declare war on us, uh, which brought a few of their friends into a punitive war, including Austria, which is the emperor, of course. Um, although they outnumber us quite a bit on infantry, and uh, really, that's about it. Um, we've been... Sending back the tide, um, of course, Novgorod entered on the side of the Emperor, or rather of Hungary. Um, and we're just dominating the coalition right now. The, the, <laughs> the big thing is that Poland and Brandenburg have been really good buddies and kind of just taken all of the hits for us. Um, really quite nice for them. Uh, rather for us, I should say, that they've been d doing so. Of course, we have a very big fleet over here in the Western Baltic, preventing anybody from getting past the Hansa, which is also at war with us. So we, we're pretty much set. We're just going to take the rest of these Novgorodian territories and make peace. Um, so again, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Um, this episode should go swimmingly. We will make peace with the Coalition on our terms, of course, not their terms. We're going to make very, very harsh terms as we've had to subject our men to the very, very cold and uh, unforgiving Russian winter over here in Novgorod. Of course, Novgorod is the preeminent Russian power now that Muscovy has been basically reduced to nothing. Um, <laughs> we've clipped Muscovy. Uh, they, can't, they can't really, you know, colonize anywhere now, which is fantastic news for us. Um, but we need to get rid of Perm, as Perm still has this one little territory over here and Solog Sologomsk, I think that's how I pronounce it anyways. Um, right, so Brandenburg and Poland taking quite a few hits for us, uh, most unfortunately for them. Fortunately for us though, we are very, very good. Brandenburg, right, Sweden, that's fine. Okay, so Brandenburg has, has dipped out of the war. We're gonna reduce our war exhaustion here. Novgorodian separatists are about to rise up, which means that, let's take a look, uh, probably gonna come from over here and Olenets. We can't really rise the... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem, I guess. Ooh, look at this. We've got some uh, some problems over here. We've got a, uh, a Muscovite Separatist that rose up at a very inopportune time for us. Uh, really kind of destroyed most of our men, but you know, it is what it is. Well, I'd like to say that we have manpower to burn, but we don't. But it is what it is, like I said. Uh, hopefully the Novgorodian Separatists don't rise up this turn. Oh, they did. Look at that. That's unfortunate. We'll send back some men to take care of them here in just a second. And we're gonna make peace with the coalition pretty soon too. So I'm gonna try to. Um, that being said, we are still pushing into Novgorod who seems to have a fort on every other territory they control. Talking about annoying, that's incredibly annoying. Uh, still trying to take Moscow, but it's being hard considering we are getting destroyed by winter attrition. Uh, we've taken Moscow, fantastic. Let's go ahead and send our men to below zero where they can heal up a little bit. And great, now we have to send back men to Suzdial because uh, Russian separatists that have taken over Novgorodian territory are rising up against us. That's just annoying, honestly. Let's go ahead and take back Olenets and we'll work on the others later on. That's fine, just like that. Let me just take over Vladimir now. Be really fast. Or rather, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and take out Suzdial. Just like so. And that shouldn't be too hard. Taking them out. And we could take Ryazan. In fact, the coalition is actually going pretty badly for us now. I think I'm going to peace out with the coalition soon. And by soon, I mean like right now. Um, the superiority thing is, it, it was going really well for a time, but now um, we're getting slammed over here. Or Poland is getting slammed, uh, unfortunately for them, right? Um, so, let's see. We can't really quite white peace just yet. Uh, why? Because Hungary is making gains. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, right, so... Let's go ahead and send our men over here. After they heal up a little bit. And into Vladimir they go. We're going to try to make some gains of ourselves. That way we can turn the tide 
uh, a little bit on this coalition war. We just need to make a white piece, really. I mean, I'd like to make more than just a white piece, but at this at this point in time, I'll take whatever I can get. Um, going over to economy, we can replay alone, so we're going to do so. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take out Riazun. I want to completely destroy um, the Novgorodian, uh, you know, ability to wage war against us. And we can now declare a white peace. Hmm, but should we? That's the question of the day. It looks like we're winning a war over here. Or we were winning a war over here with Lithuania. I want to defend them. Alright, so... Let's see how this conflict is going over here. It's going pretty well. Let's, uh, you know, we might want to peace out now while we can. Um, and we could probably take out some territories too. Well, that was wishful thinking, I guess. We could take this this little shitty territory of Cal Calmgary. Uh, I wish we could take out something like this, but we can't. Eh, maybe next month, maybe? That's being really wishful of... Okay, yeah, I think we can do it now. Let's go ahead and see if we can. We can't. Well, that, that's, that's shitty. Um, hmm. What should we do? What would Jesus do? Would Jesus uh, continue to wage war against a massive coalition? Probably not. So we should probably make peace, honestly. We should probably make peace. Even though we don't want to, we probably should. Okay, fine. We'll make peace. Um... Let's see. Terrible provinces that Novgorod controls. Anything that we can just snag that requires practically... Okay, yeah, like Suzdial and this one, this one. Well, that's pretty much anything we can, that's pretty much everything we can take, unfortunately, at this point. So, we'll just take it and be happy. It's better than nothing, I guess. And we'll even take some money out of the Coalition, too. You know, that's that's fine. We've made peace with the Coalition. Um, again, that's, that's, like, that's... Like I said earlier, that's better than nothing. I mean, we don't want... The entire force of Austria and Hungary to bear down on us. Um, our allies, Poland and Lithuania, were getting their shit kicked in. So it, it, it was about time that we made peace. Um, it's just unfortunate that we weren't able to take more of Novgorod, considering, you know, we had fully annexed them. Um, but, you know, you, you can't win every war, and uh, certainly not these wars. So let's go ahead now and send out more of our diplomats over in Kazan. All right, they're done. That's great. Let's fabricate a claim on Livonian order. And we're gonna gear up for war again. This is, like, I, I, I promise you guys, this is gonna be a really interesting episode, and it is. We're, we're gonna have a fun time this episode. We're going to be ready for war with Kazan, uh, in turn, which will bring us into war with Sibir. I just want to ensure that Muscovy has no way to colonize Siberia. That would be my end game over here. And, excuse me, I am going to claim yet another province for Livonian order. We've lost a claim on Danzig, that's fine, that's fine. Truce with Danzig has ended. Royal marriage from Poland, we'll sign it. And Norway, we'll sign it. I'm sure Poland and Brandenburg are happy to be out of that god-awful war. And we're no longer actually allies with uh, Brandenburg. That's unfortunate. Why is that, I wonder? Well, we need to be allies with them. That would be, uh, you know, helpful. So, in the future, we will ally them. Or maybe they were forced to annul treaties with me. I think that that's probably more likely what it was. Considering that's usually what it is when the bastard AI decides to screw me over. So, let's go ahead and again, um, direct trade in the Baltic Sea. And prepare for war. Again, our manpower has been basically shot, but... It is what it is. Mainly these are our men over here in St. Petersburg. Or I guess, you know, Notbarg, as it is known in Swedish, apparently. Um, we are losing legitimacy each year. Why is that? It's because of a regency. Yeah, we're in a regency. I forgot to mention. Um, oof. God. So we're actually going to wait 10 years. This is the second regency we've been faced with um, in less than 100 years. That's awful. You know, sometimes you go an entire campaign without getting redundancies? Well, I have the splitted luck of managing to hit them every single time, just relentlessly hitting these redundancies. Uh, so I guess, you know, now would be a good time for me to just do diplomatic things, laying claims, annexing things, 
you know, the, the works. Um, making friends. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, I can't really do anything now that I've got a Regency anyways. Muscovy, right. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we got 40 power projection, which isn't too bad. It's no longer a valid rival. Really no surprise. Look at all these reforms. The Holy Roman Empire is just pooping through. That's great, and considering that that will be our next target. We are going to seek to control the Holy Roman Empire pretty soon, just not yet. It's more of like an endgame goal for us. Um, right, so what was I going to do? I was going to set a new rival. The new rival will be, eh, for lack of a better choice, the Ottomans, even though, you know, pretty far away from the Ottomans. We don't really care about them just yet. But it's good to have a rival, just so we can increase our power projection. And we got another power, uh, we got another uh, Casas Belly, which is great. We're going to fabricate yet more claims on everybody that we can. While we wait for our heir to come of age, let's take a look at Catholicism. Almost time to convert to Protestantism. I'm pretty excited, actually. I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. And it's almost here. Uh, I would like, however, to increase our stability using the uh, BFI a lo local saint uh, option over here in the Holy See. We gain 1.68 papal influence per year. That's not too bad. It could be a bit better, but you know, it is what it is. Um, again, let's make sure that we are coring territory. We are. Uh, and our name looks a lot more majestic now that we've taken that, you know, crap province that Novgorod owned. It's looking better and better. Of course, Muscovy, um, our truce with them is going to end in 1519, but I don't think we can really take advantage of that, unfortunately, as we are at peace. Most unfortunately. So we continue to live out our peaceful lives. Uh, I will take Diplo power over admin power any day of the week. That is basically a no-brainer. And let's go ahead and maybe make some more, I don't know, buildings? I mean, what else can I really make at this point? Let's take a look. Um, I can't make any more defense, or any more castles, I should say. Another castle spell against Danzig, which is good. Let's lay some claims in Novgorod, shall we? I mean, we've already laid a crap load of claims in Muscovy. And Muscovy's not even in the coalition against us, which is fantastic. Once we, you know, are able to actually declare war on people, which will be soon, which will be in eight years. Maybe it'll even be in this episode. I don't think it will be, but, you know, you never know. Man can certainly hope, can't they? And our manpower has recovered quite valiantly, which is great. Norway. We've got a new monarch in Norway. Which doesn't make any sense, considering... Oh, it's not a personal union, right? It's a vassal. That makes more sense. Um, well, let's go ahead and get rid of the pretender rebels that we got in Norway. Might as well. Poland has broken their alliance with us. Well, that's uh, that's sad. I couldn't say that it's not too surprising, but, you know, it's still kind of sad. <coughs> Excuse me. So that means that we need to really hold on to that alliance that we have with Lithuania and look about making allies in other parts of the world, which, we're going to, which we are going to do so uh, momentarily. Right, so let's also make a fort over here. That would be fantastic. We don't want people to pass through the north. We've got quite a bit of chain of forts here throughout most of Sweden, which is great. Taking back Hologaland, which is also nice. And we're just going to help our buddy Norway take back their territory, so that when we annex them, we don't have any rebel problems. Uh, right, so Muscovy has found out that we've been fabricating claims on them. Not too surprising. And now that we are free to do what we want, let's see if we can offer an alliance to Brandenburg. We can't for five more years. Um, we really need to hold on to our alliance with Lithuania. That's super, super important. Uh, what about France? Would we be able to ally France? Not yet. They're allied, they're allied, or they're rivaled, I should say, with Austria. I would love to ally France. Let's go ahead and send uh, our relations over that way. It'd be really nice if I could get an alliance over there. Kind of counteract 
Austria. Or maybe even England. England could be a pretty good alliance as well. Scotland is still independent somehow. I'm a bit surprised as to how that actually is possible, but it is. And let's invest in some admin tech, just like so. We can take another national decision. We will take uh, both of these. They're both better than the other options that we had available. Pretty soon we can transform into a Protestant country. I'm really excited into doing this. i am really uh, been looking forward to doing this for a long time now. And it really sucks to have a regency. God, I mean, I could be doing so much right now, uh, you know, with warfare and what have you, but I can't. And that's just, that's just really sad. So, royal marriage offer from Norway, we'll take it, that's fine. Pretty soon I think we'll be able to royal marry France, or even ally them. We take in Trondelong, that's great. And, just like that, the period of conflict over there has been passed. Um, 1044, what do we have over here? Is this like, this is big, 12, 12... Four, four. It's because we have. It is because we have mercenaries, which we're going to get rid of right now. And we can afford to beef up our army a little bit. So we're going to do that right around now. Or we can afford it, I guess. We can't even afford it right now uh, because our economy is in shit. Why is that? So our fort maintenance. We got a lot of forts. But the forts keep us safe. So it is a. Um, trade-off that I'm willing to take. That's no problem. Ooh, let's go ahead and deify that local saint. Or beatify, I should say. We've gained a stability, which is really, really good news. But we've suffered another revolt. Oof. Norway cannot leave well enough alone. They just continue to suffer continuous revolts over and over again. Processor information has picked up. Nice. Okay. Great, great, great. We are going to um, immediately set about reforming into a Protestant nation. We do that now. I know it's it's a bit uh, it's a bit sketchy considering you know we might need our allies and our allies might kind of desert us if if we do that. But you know, I, I, let's get the alliances first and then and then we'll worry about you know converting. So I really do want to convert. That would be very very nice if we were to be able to do that this turn. Military leader has died. Was it literally a good one? I think it was. It wasn't. We got a we got a pretty decent one over here. No problem there. And um, right, so we got provincial unrest in quite a few provinces. I would rather, however, convert while we are at peace. Uh, considering we still have a regency council. Yeah, no, that would be a pretty good time actually. But I really do want to ally France first. So let's go ahead and stop the relation improvement over there. And ally them. Yay, we've allied France. That's great. Let's royal marry them. Which we will do so right now. They will act as a very good counterbalance towards Austria. At least that's the, uh, that's the hope. And... Got a royal marriage with Lithuania. That's great. And Poland might actually want to ally us again. Look at that, they're just like uh, Fairweather friends. But we'll take their alliance, honestly. We'll take whatever alliance we can get at this point in time. And pretty soon we're going to have a crap ton of rebel problems as we are about to switch religions. That's better we do that now than later, honestly. In fact, let's go ahead and switch religions as soon as we take out these rebels over here in Norway, which I thought we were doing right now. What is going on over here? Yeah, onwards. Revolts, revolts, revolts. Lots and lots of holy crap, that is a lot of revolts. Let's go and take care of business and get rid of those revolts. And then we'll switch. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Rebel successful, rebel successful, rebel successful. Jesus Christ, they have done quite the number on our provinces, but we are going to get rid of them, so don't worry. Everything is going to work out for the best. We should be able to take back some of these provinces. 
Oof, they're just continuously taking more and more provinces. This is not good. We've integrated Norway, though, which is, which is good. Um, Norway is part of our patrimony. We've gained another stability. We're at plus three stability. Now would be a very, very good time for us to switch religions, especially with that humanism that we get. An army reformer has died. Oh, that's unfortunate. And God, our legitimacy is just tanking because we've been in a regency for so long. And our military tech is shit because our regency council has a 2 4 0. Rebel successful, rebel successful, rebel successful, rebel, te rebel heretics, rebel, rebel everything, rebel. Oof, geez. So they're heading towards Olenets. Let's go ahead and beat them, to th beat them there. So that we can take them out before they even get there. And now, now is as good a time as any is for us to just, you know, basically convert um, to the true religion. Let's go ahead and do so. I know it's going to piss off quite a bit of people. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at... Okay, so Protestantism is really not really entrenched in anything. Uh, Brandenburg is Protestant, so we'll, we'll hold on to them as an ally. But everybody else is uh, not really all about that. So... Let's go ahead and switch. We will switch to Protestantism. It'll give us uh, plus 10% national tax, which is great, and tolerance of true faith. It'll take away 100 prestige, however, and give us 407 ducats. And it'll give us mercenary or religious zeal until 1530. It's going to take it. As good as anything we can get at this moment. Let's um, take the manpower reserves mission and let's go ahead and immediately start converting things so church power i have no idea what this does um we need like okay we'll, we'll figure this out later um church power where, where do you get that from okay you get it from religious unity so let's go ahead and convert provinces this will be the most important thing uh we need to now increase our relationship with our allies so they don't leave us that'd be pretty shitty wouldn't it they just abandon us now that we've converted. And where is the Protestant Center of Reformation? There should be one over here somewhere. At least I, I hope that there would be. Um, there's one over here. I, th I thought that we would get one. No? Oh, I guess it's because we switched too late. Well, that sucks. I thought that we would probably get one. We'll, we'll take one later on when we, when we annex Brandenburg. Uh, not the end of the world. We, we might be able to get that achievement. Uh in a bit. Um, treasury, treasury, treasury. Looming disaster, looming disaster. That's not good. Let's take out a loan. And you're gonna be like, Alzbo, why are you taking out a loan? Well, I'll show you why. It's because this will... Oh. We can't take Defender of the Faith because we have a Regency Council. That is so stupid. Ah, oh, I'm pissed. I'm gonna pay that loan and lose my money. Well, whatever. It's better than nothing, I guess. Um, yeah, rebel problems is gonna be, it's gonna be a big issue, rebel problems. And they're gonna be an issue for a while, because we have such a big country. But we'll figure it out. Um, let's opt for the tax modifier. We are losing quite a bit of money now. As we have unrest due to the fact that we have no religious unity. And truce is expired with everybody. Oh jeez. That was pretty, pretty ugly. But it is what it is. And we're taking back these guys. Uh, Perm is about to make war with us again. We're going to be ready for it. I have to kind of centralize my forces so that, that way we can take out any uh, problems that we get with our missionaries. Considering nobody in my empire is actually Protestant, we need to be ready for that. And just like clockwork, Perm has risen up against us. We will take them out right now before they are even able to take any territory whatsoever. So that, you would think that because we have plus three stability, it would be harder for them to take our territory, but it's not. Yay, we've taken our first province for Protestantism. Uh, is Stockholm even Protestant? I don't think it is. Um, where's Stockholm at? Where's my Stockholm guys at? Let's see. Stockholm, where are you at? Oh, maybe it's already transferred. I don't, I don't really even know. Well, we'll figure it out. Stockholm. Religion. Um, right, so the first one we got was in Norway. Better than nothing, though. And eventually those reformation uh, centers of reformation will uh, come over to us. It'll just take a little while. 
fabricating more claims on Novgorod. We don't really care. We'll get a looming disaster of religious turmoil because our religious unity is shit. Uh, unless if we can bring it up fast enough, which I hope we can. It's going to be a racing to the time, really, for us to be able to do so. And let's see if we can get National Unrest. Hmm, that's pretty good. Too bad we can't really afford it. So we're just going to do that for the time being. That's fine. Agent, Battle of Perm. We won the Battle of Perm. Of course, that wasn't too hard. Sweden is occupied. Perm, great. Um, we can stay there. That's fine. And you guys can stay over here. That's great. We just need to get our manpower reserves uh, up. Let's see. We can gain some church power at the expense of a few different things. Again, ad admin, that would be pretty good. Um, let's go with this one. That's that's fine. It gives us church power. You know, I have no idea what church power does. <laughs> it's my first time ever playing Protestantism since we've, uh, you know, since uh, Protestantism has changed, I believe, in patch 1.2. So it's still new to me as well. And I kind of like it. It's, it's interesting. So discoveries are spreading uh, probably to the new worlds. Yeah, let's see him. We still have a bit of a problem over with rebels. Um, Bogan heretics. I don't really know why. Where are these guys? Uh, Bogan heretics. I don't see them anywhere. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, right, so looming disaster. Uh, religious turmoil is going to hit us pretty soon. Let's take a look at... What is converting next? The religion of Marienburg is converting. Do we own Marienburg? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. We do own Marienburg. That's fantastic. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and immediately set about making um, more of our territory Protestant as fast as we can. Pretty soon our king will come of age too, which is great news for us. And we could probably even afford to um, you know, lower our army maintenance for now, for the time being. We're going to have to change that later, but for the time being, we can do that until the rebel problem gets bad. And we're making so few money because we've converted our entire empire, basically, at this point. And being a regency is, I guess, it's a good time for us to convert. But we have a new king, and that means we can declare war, but we might want to wait, considering we have a huge problem with literally everything. Um, we could probably just declare war on Muscovy. It might be safe. But I want to be, you know, I want to make sure that we're, we're going to be okay before I do so. Another missionary has converted yet another territory. Let's go ahead and take Halagaland. And that Protestant uh, Center of Reformation is converting more of my territories, which is fantastic news. Eventually, all of my land will be Protestant, but it's going to take quite a while for that to transpire. Um, I think maybe in about a year, we will start declaring war again. But for the time being, we are going to avoid doing so. And we're not going to take any idea groups yet, because our tech has so far behind. We're going to work on tech first, it's more important. Spymaster has fallen, and we still have that looming disaster. What is our religious tolerance? Our religious unity is 31%. It's pretty low. We could take... Let's take Defender of the Faith. That's, that's really important. We need it right now. Defender of Faith. Fantastic. Um, we, just, we just really need this because this, this gives us another missionary, uh, which is really good news, as we really need an, an additional missionary. Um, but we're losing in our treasury. Losing out, but that's fine. Uh, I just need to get my my religious unity up, as it's very, very low at this moment, and we're getting a looming disaster, which is really bad. So um, we need to, you know, make sure that everything goes to plan. So right, Lithuania has been declared won by Ryazan, Muscovy, and Perm. I have no idea how. Oh, okay, they have declared war. Okay, so we'll, we'll accept it. That's fine. And they're at war with Muscovy. Is that correct? That is correct. I'm going to go ahead and send out some men over that way. To join them. And let's... Hmm. 
Let's improve relations with Poland. That's fine. Let's do that. Okay, so... Hmm. We need to be careful, though, because our <laughs> maintenance is incredibly low at this uh, point in time. Let's go raise war taxes. That'll help out. And we're going to raise the maintenance a little bit, which will also help. In fact, we could probably just go ahead and mothball all of our uh, forts. This should uh, help out the treasury quite a bit. So I'm not too worried about losing any forts to anybody in particular. Mitzvi Novgorod, we will take out. We have won the battle. And let's see, royal marriage from Poland, that's great. Let's go ahead and increase our relationship with Poland. Conversion successful, fantastic. That is our alarm that is going off. But let's go ahead and play just a little bit more to see where we take this attempt. We really need the looming disaster not to proc. That would be quite disastrous, somewhat ironically, if that were to happen. Um, we can increase our Diplo tech, so we shall do so. And we've got manpower to spare as we ravage Muscovy, who themselves is suffering from some rebel problems. I'm hoping that more of my territories are going to be targeted by Protestant Centers of Reformation, but, you know, you never know how successful that will be. Um, and I also hope that Lithuania gives me some of these provinces that I have claims upon. England! Oof. Well, we can't really afford to do that, can we? Um, hmm. Yeah, no, no, we're not going to do that. That's, uh, that's bad. Especially considering we would lose our ally of France. That's just, that's not going to work out. We're going to decline that as soon as we can afford to with our second, um, missionary. And let's go ahead and take out a few of these provinces over here. That's fine, just like that. Oof. So now we can afford to decline England. Decline you, sorry brother. Send out a, another missionary over there. Just like so. And here we go. We're occupying more and more territory. We're doing pretty well here. By and by. I'm just worried that Lithuania is going to take this province for themselves. They probably will. Military leader has died. That's fine. We can increase our military tech. We're very close to taking um, exploration, which means that we will be able to perhaps um, settle east of the Ural Mountains. Oof, we are almost at a religious turmoil, a religious disaster, as we have not quite converted 50% of the land that we need to, which is a bit scary, to be honest. But it is what it is. We're doing our best over here. And yet another siege that we've won. That wasn't hard at all. Let's go and take out Samara. Just doing the best we can over here. Right, on. so full exchange. Okay, Muscovy will cede Nitsky, Novgorod, and Glazov to Sweden. Cool. That's pretty nice. So we were actually... Uh, we actually got a pretty good deal out of that. Um, they, they were faithful to us. They gave us uh, good uh, land, I should say. So this is as good of any point in time to end this particular episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode, where more than likely we will be dragged into religious turmoil, <laughs> which is going to suck, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, more than likely, that's going gonna, gonna to be what happens. I really want to also go ahead and hire yet another military general who's not quite as good as the last one that we had, but it is what it is. And really, I mean, the rebels are about to envelop our territory. It's going to be really, really bad. Um, I think you guys probably already know just how bad this is going to be. So stay tuned. It's going to be shitty. And we're going to be, we're going to be you know, suffering quite a bit of, uh, of warfare here as religious civil war envelops the land. Um, oof. 
what should we even do here? We can do that. That's probably better. Brandenburg uh, against Danzig and Mecklenburg. Oof, yeah, I guess we should join that too. Mecklenburg is weak. And let's see who are Saxon Lombardy. We'll accept that. That's fine. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Um, let's see what this disaster really does for us. It probably increases our disorder. I, I don't really know, but um, again, stay tuned for the next episode where it should be a bit interesting as we seek to convert our entire country to Protestantism and suffer from, um, you know, just a shit ton of revolts. So guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon.